Welcome to the fifth and last lecture on Industry 4.0 module included in the Beehive MOOC. In this lecture, we will talk about the diverse policies that governments have adopted in order to implement Industry 4.0 technologies. Industry is one of the main pillars of the European economy. It is a strategic component which is much more important than its GDP may suggest. Indeed, it accounts for 64% of research and development activities across Europe, and economists estimate that each additional job in industry creates between 0.5 and 2 new jobs in other sectors. That is why the evolution of the economic system towards the adoption of Industry 4.0 technologies is supported by specific programs in many industrialized countries. Of course, the referential concept, as well as the implementation modalities, differ in each country, reflecting the cultural, industrial and economic diversities. Each country has its own industrial tradition, its own way of doing business, its own approach to data privacy and so on. More than 30 national and regional initiatives have been launched over the last years across Europe and even outside Europe Many programs have been put into action, like, for example, the US Industrial Internet and Made in China 2025. In this lecture, we will focus on the Italian National Plan, which runs from 2017 to 2020, and which is basically founded on fiscal incentives. By the end of 2016, the Italian government in order to implement the digital transformation, launched a plan allocating 13 billion euros in order to reinforce innovative investments by increasing money in research and development activities and by strengthening the financial services to support startups and innovative companies, enhance the relevant public instruments in order to, for example, improve and renew the international market penetration of Italian companies, favor the development of enabling infrastructures, like, for example, the collaboration at the European level, in order to define standards and criteria of interoperability, especially concerning the expansion of IoT, and finally, to develop new competencies through the competence centers and the digital innovation hubs which, has, which have been created across the whole territory. In general, the main measures of the Italian National Plan concern innovation along the whole uh, production process. In fact, it is possible to detect instruments of simulation of input which favor the acquisition of uh, new machineries instruments of a stimulation of process, which ease the development of research and development projects through, for example, a 50% tax credit on the increases on the costs incurred by companies in order to implement research and development activities, instruments of stimulation of output, which help, which strengthen the final results of the innovation process uh, through, for example, a 50% reduction in the corporate income tax and in the regional production tax, which are two taxes uh, present in the uh, Italian legislation for companies, which are applicable to the income in the use of intangible assets, like, for example, registered uh, software, uh, copyrighted uh, uh, industrial uh, patents, or uh, in industrial models or industrial designs. Of course, it's impossible to give you an exhaustive overview about the whole instruments envisaged. So I will limit myself to introduce you one of the instruments that mainly led to significant results in 2017, which is the hyper-depreciation instrument. The hyper-depreciation instrument implies that companies can make investments for the acquisition of assets, technologies and devices enabling to the transformation of companies into Industry 4.0 standards. Depreciation 
is based on the concept of the interconnection of the asset within the whole production cycle, which creates an interconnected ecosystem which is automatically integrated at a factory level and along the whole value chain. In this case, the amortization rate increases from 140% to 250% of the investment value. To make it clear, a company that makes a 1 million investment in order to purchase, for example, a device for a man-machine interaction, before the plan, with an amortization rate of 140%, it could benefit from a tax reduction in five years, which was equal to 96,000 euros. Thanks to the new measure and to the new amortization rate of 250%, the company can benefit from a tax reduction in five years, which is equal to 360,000 euros, which an increase of 275%. Of course, this measure, combined with the others, led to significant results in the industrial sectors uh, throughout the whole 2017, like, for example, an increase of 13% for the acquisition of new machineries, or an increase of 7% for the purchasing of electric and electronic equipment, which are the high, highest levels since 2010. In 2018, the government has confirmed all those measures, in some cases with some little variations, and has introduced new measures in order to achieve the 2020 targets, particularly on uh, the investments on human capital, like, for example, a 40% tax credit on the labor costs of personnel involved in the training related to Industry 4.0 topics, or by the allocation of 95 million euros in order to increase the number of students in the technical high institutes from the current number of 9,000 to 20,000. And finally, through strengthening the collaboration between schools and enterprises and the number of PhDs concerning Industry 4.0 research arguments. The Italian National Plan represents one of the best models in Europe that accompany enterprises in their improvement of their productivity, in the improvement of their competitiveness, in the digitalization of their industrial processes, and in the development of the new skills, services, and products. Of course, the success of the plan depends on the extent to which entrepreneurs will uh, be able to take advantage in a logic of transformation and a change of their mindset of the measures that have been put in place. As we said in the first lecture, the change is firstly cultural than technological. Speaking on behalf of Marconi University, I hope that you have enjoyed and appreciated the contents of this module. And of course, I kindly invite all those who are interested in going deeper into industry 4.0 topics to write us. We will be more than happy to reply. Thank you.